Barbara and Donald Jonas founded the Jonas Center for Nursing and Veterans Healthcare in 2006. Since then, it has become the leading national philanthropic organization dedicated to improving healthcare by advancing the nursing profession. The Jonas has decided that they wanted a field that really needed them, where they could make a difference. And by some quirk of chance, the greatest luck in the world, they decided on nursing. As the largest segment of the healthcare workforce, America's three million nurses are the key to transforming healthcare, increasing access, guaranteeing safety and quality, and lowering costs. The goal of the center is really threefold. Um, first of all, providing scholarships for nurses to become new faculty members. The second area is really bringing thought leaders together to discuss ways to provide better care and lower costs. And the third focus is really innovation. What are those new things, new ideas that need support to get a start to provide better patient care? The nurses are always there. The doctors go home, they've done their work, they're gone by seven o'clock, eight o'clock, and the nurses are there for 24 hours a day. Our healthcare system faces great challenges, a rapidly aging population, an increase in chronic illness and mental health needs, the spread of global disease and infection, and we have an uneven geographic distribution of healthcare providers. Nurses are uniquely qualified to address these critical healthcare issues, but they aren't always able to afford the education that they need. We are flooded with applicants for every nursing program in the country, be they state, Private, it doesn't really matter. Students want to go into nursing. We simply don't have the faculty to support them. The Jonas Scholar Program is the heart and soul of the Jonas Center. In 2008, it began with just six PhD nursing scholars in Greater New York at five schools of nursing. Today, there are 1,000 Jonas PhD and Doctor of Nursing Practice Scholars at 140 schools of nursing in all 50 states. And that's just the beginning. Something is magical about a thousand. <laughs> you gotta get a thousand. Each of these scholars will teach the next generation of nurses and improve patient care today, tomorrow, and for decades to come. They will go on to take leadership roles at teaching hospitals, become deans at universities, develop breakthrough research, and advocate for and create policy change. We need to make more nurses, so we need to have more doctorally prepared nurses. And we also need to have nurses who are working on research and science so that we can provide better care to folks when they're ill and also when they're well. As a nurse, I would rather um, keep them from being sick in the community uh, before I take care of them in the hospital setting. In 2011, the Jonas Center launched the Veterans Healthcare Program, recognizing that the U.S. is home to more than 20 million veterans. We have about 250,000 uh, individuals who have had a traumatic brain injury. We have a number of individuals who are suffering from PTSD. And of course, we've had about 6,500 individuals who have had traumatic amputations. The Jonas Center now supports more than 300 nursing clinicians and researchers across the country developing specialty military and veteran medical care to heal the wounds of war. At the Jonas Center, we are passionate about creating change. We are dedicated to creating opportunities for nurses to improve our healthcare system. We fund cutting-edge projects such as Khan Academy and genetic research to eliminate children's blindness. The center raises awareness and funds solutions for challenging issues including mental health, end-of-life care, and environmental health and toxins, just to name a few. As we celebrate 10 years of progress, we owe tremendous thanks for our partners, collaborators, and friends. But our journey is not yet complete. We realized that we cannot do this alone, and we then decided partnerships are the way to go. And we were extraordinarily lucky and, I guess, effective in that people as prestigious and as important as Robert Wood Johnson, Johnson & Johnson, the Hartford Foundation, all of these very illustrious places concerned about nursing came to us. 
I really uh, admire the Jonas Foundation for their advocacy because I think it's you know, one thing to provide scholarships, the other is doing what the Jonases are doing, which is go out and trying to make the problem uh, better known and try to attract more funders into the area. Barbara and Donald Jonas have established a foundation of high quality nursing care by funding 1,000 nurse leaders across the country and have pledged their continued support for nursing through 2028. And I think Jenna Scholar just really plants that idea that the sky is the limit. It's very nice to, to have someone who is behind you 100%. And then Mr. Jonas, thank you very much. You know, you have, I believe, given a platform for the voice of nursing and the profession and are making a difference in ways that you will probably never realize because the impact of education extends far beyond the day that they're being educated and into the many touch points that they'll have across the world. I'd like to sincerely thank Mr. and Mrs. Jonas for um, this incredible opportunity. I am determined every day when I do my studies, I think of Mr. and Mrs. Jonas and I just want to make them proud. They often tell the story of how their friends invested in art or invested in Wall Street and they invested in nurses and I am determined to make sure that their investment when they're sitting around their, their cocktail table, that their investment was very worthwhile. I want to continue for as long as I can to make the Jonas Center get bigger and better. I love what I'm doing. I love the people I work with, and I love our scholars, particularly in our deans.